So how did you uh, first start going to 22nd Street? In 62, I was a lifeguard in Newport, and Tom came up to my tower one day and said, do you want to buy a 16 millimeter camera with me? And I went, sure, here's 150 bucks for my share. <laughs> when you surf places like Blackies, you reap the benefits of learning from what came before. I think some of it back then was just as good as it is now, personally. The boards were heavier, of course. You know, it wasn't uncommon to have a 20-pound board. Balsa wood, you know, and uh, maybe uh, two or three redwood stringers. I know uh, Alima had a... Uh, 10-foot Phil Edwards with three redwood stringers, and that thing weighed 40 pounds. Greg Brown was a superstar. He was up here, and everybody else was down here. The main crew of kids my age and younger is Jared Mel, Tanner Prairie, who's a shaper who learned his, his craft from Mike Marshall, one of the originals. And it extends, you know, when there's a few people that surf it, surf it well, traditional style surfboards, it spreads. And uh, it's cool, it's cool for me to go down there now because I see kids that I don't even really know on a personal level surfing really good. Rick became known as Blackies. Had that happened yet? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And why was that? Just because of that bar in front of the place. Blackies bar that uh, Chuck Fry owns. Did you ever go in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the scene's cool. Everyone kind of hangs out in the parking lot in a kind of outdated fashion. You know, there's bars on the beach, so it's typical for surfers to go out and have a drink after they surf. You see, you see some of the crusties down there hanging out, all the guys that hang on the seawall. Uh, when I was a senior in high school, Aline uh, moved over. And, yeah, he was just in the same class and the same swim team. And about that time, uh, I think uh, David and his family moved over. was like the cat's meow like uh, Chris Marseille when Chris Marseille showed up. Chris was only about this big at the time and he could just run all over the surfboard. He just had skill levels that nobody else had, you know. It also helps having the older generation there. Helps put younger generation in, in perspective of, you know, lifestyle that's surfing. <laughs>